Meanwhile, speaking before this committee, former Central Bank Governor Ajit Nivad Cabral said the declaration of bankruptcy of Sri Lanka is part of a conspiracy. A new Treasury Secretary and a new Governor was appointed on April 8th. April 9th and 10th was a weekend. The 11th was a state holiday. The day after that, April 12th was a working day. On that day, without issuing prior notice, the Central Bank Governor and the Treasury Secretary declared bankruptcy, surprising the entire nation. No one was ready for that on the first day. Even an owner of a small shop would try to avoid bankruptcy. If you properly observe these incidents, you can see that this decision is not something that happened randomly and that it was taken after much planning with the intention of declaring bankruptcy. In this attempt, this team focused on the sovereign bond payment of $500 million, which was to be paid in January 18, 2022. We repaid all debt obligations that were due to be made in the first quarter before status would be established if that $500 million US dollars was not paid. That means the non-repayment of one bond would mean the non-repayment of all bonds. With this, whether we like it or not, bankruptcy will be declared. I believe they aimed for that. Does that mean that both of you and the finance minister was removed to implement this conspiracy? Definitely. They couldn't do that through us. We always said that we will repay the debt. Had they approached the cabinet, parliament or the attorney general before making it public on the 12th, those factions would question them as to what alternatives can be taken. That did not happen. If they had done that, they would have to provide explanations. Then even we could provide evidence because I had the details of the funds that were to come from India and China. I believe the finance minister also knew how much we were supposed to get from India. We postponed it to the ACU. We had money then, which means more information would also get revealed. That means that certain conspiratorial groups had intentionally ignored official discussions, the real situation and worked to destroy the country's economy.